Map View. In this lesson, we will review the basics of creating a new map view. Content covered, create an analysis and add a map view, and configure the map view. Let's get started. Okay, in the next exercise, we'll be working with map views. And there was a lot of excitement over the 11G release, the fact that you can now do maps. So it's a nice way you can actually show your data in a geographical format so you can see what was going on per state. And we're going to be doing that in this example. So I'm going to go ahead, off the global header, we'll say New Analysis, Sample Sales. All right, so I need to open up the orders table and then open up ship to regions and then ship to geo codes and what I'm looking for is this R62 geo country state name so I'll double click that to add it then I want to go to products and add my brand column and then I want to go to base facts so I have to scroll down here opening up facts and expanding the base facts folder I'm going to want revenue and then I want to go to counts, which is in calculations. And I want 35 number of products with orders. And then out of simple calculations, I want 25 average order size. So those are the columns that I'm going to need. I do want to add my saved filter. And again, that's for that at the end of the day, when we build our day two page, will be able to filter on the map. So I can double click and I want to say apply the contents. So there's our filter here and I also want to add an additional filter so that we're only seeing data for the USA. So I need to add a filter here using this icon because we don't have the column that I'm going to use. So I just say create filter and then I choose more columns and then I can go to orders, ship to regions, and then ship to geo codes and we want that R61 geo country code and that's going to be USA. Alright, so that's what I need. Let's go ahead and look at the results. So this is the data we're going to be putting into an actual map. Um, we're not going to need the table view on the final result so I can go ahead and remove it. It's always a good idea though to just take a look at your data and make sure it's what you expect. So let me go ahead and take the table off and I'm going to say new view map. Alright so I'm going to go ahead, I need to scroll over to the right here because I want to go ahead and edit the map view. So you may have to scroll over to see this icon. So I'll do an edit view. All right, so we're going to change the format of the map. And we are going to change this to OBIEE -E USA Simple Large. Okay, guess I got it now. And we'll watch it load. Notice when I hover over any of the states, I am able to see the revenue. Next, we will edit the color fill for revenue. It is under the OBIEE U.S. State heading. You can follow along in your materials, and I will be making the following changes. Instead of revenue, we want to vary our color by average order size. We'll choose three in the bins drop-down. Oh, one more thing, we need to change our bin type. We do not want to see percentage, we want to see value. Leaving it percentage ranks our geographies, and, and this is something you cannot modify. And then the values will enter 800, 950, 1100, and 1250 in the four boxes between minimum and maximum which will create our three bins. And watch while I make the following color choices. We will choose the colors red, yellow, and green. After we've made these changes, we need to click OK. 
Before clicking OK, one other thing you can do is uncheck Name Automatically and enter Average Order Size or whatever name you would like to assign to the box. Notice by using the controls in the upper left, you are able to resize your map to see more or less of it. Watch while I practice resizing the map using Zoom In, Zoom Out, and Pan. Let's go ahead and change our map properties. Click on the Map Properties icon and click Custom in the Canvas Size drop-down. Enter 725 for width, 397 for height. You also have tabs to change tools, interaction, and labels. Click the OK button and click Done to stop editing from the compound layout. Hover around the map and look at your values. They're now grouped by average order size and by the color you created for your bins. To see your legend, click on the arrow pointing down in the right hand corner of the map. Let's take a look of how this will look in our dashboard. Using the arrow in the upper right corner, you can control whether you want to see the legend or not. You also can grab the sidebar and move to the right and move to the left. Or, or from this drop down, look at other views. In the upper left of the screen, you can pan, zoom in, and zoom out. Go ahead and close the preview button. Let's go ahead and save the analysis as exercise number 9, USA Map, which will wrap up this exercise.